And uh, time to talk about food again. A lot of you, because you're young and you're not reacting yet, because you don't know about the labeling laws, don't know how to read and interpret a label, y'all kind of think I'm a little over the top, nuts with all my talk about cannon butt and stuff like that. <laughs> I want you to take a second and remember that I was looking for sweets. And at Walmart, I had picked up a tin, similar to this, but it had Christmas decorations. That's two. It's, actually, they, I saw them there over by the pharmacy. They have those on sale now. Four tins for $4.84. I bought that, and I consumed that, even though it said there was some a little bit of cornstarch in there. The cornstarch appeared to be confined to one cookie that was not crisp, it was kind of soft, and but this was the tin that's of the same product, Sam's Club, same formula, everything. It was given to me by the African immigrant, which I put in a neat pile right here as an animal test about six days ago. The birds showed no interest in it. The animals showed really no interest in it. Not even the pack rats didn't see much of nibbling, a little bit of pecking on it by some birds. You can see that eventually birds did eat some of it, but you notice how incredibly white their little dookies, you see them, it is dookie dookie, dookie dookie, close to it. You notice they didn't get far before they, but they do have a tendency to drop a deuce before they take off flying. See him right over there, there's a dookie right there, and another dookie, and over there, and over there, with all the... After four inches of rain, that's what was left. All the organic material, all the flour, the, all the... I'm quite sure that's not cornstarch. Cornstarch would have washed away, too. The ants certainly didn't eat it in those, like, the four days leading up to the rain. My best guess is that that's probably titanium dioxide, which is permissible in food, toothpaste, stuff like that. Yeah, I think even sometimes in chocolate to make it look shiny. But look at how much is there. Consider how much had to wash off into the grass to leave that much there. I had a reaction to that first tin. That's why I never bought another one. And I was thinking it was just the cornstarch. But obviously, there's something else in there that's not on the label. And I'm willing to bet money, I'll bet you 10 bucks, that that's titanium dioxide just like in your toothpaste. Look at it. I'm saying titanium dioxide. So every time you think I'm a little crazy about talking about you know, food and restaurant food and vegetable oils and all the creepy bullshit that goes on with processed foods. There's your proof right there. Six days. One of them, one evening, whole evening, and part into the at least four inches of rain washed away. All those. I'll admit before that, the last time I looked at it, there appeared to be maybe some kind of missing or something like that. You know, there might have been some pack rat interest, but, or was it just birds who immediately had hypermotility in the gut and crapped out a good quantity of that? And I'm betting you anything just by looks. You know, it's titanium is, you know, compared to Maybe stronger than steel, but it's actually fairly lightweight. But it was heavier and not so water soluble. And look at how much, like I said, think about how much had to go that away. Because that's the way the water was flowing. It was come from those are selling right now for four for four dollars and eighty-four cents. Which is uh, 
essentially four for one. Now I'm going to take this back as my ass. But think about what you're eating sometimes because you are what you eat. If you eat a dick, you are a dick. <laughs>